Hi, I'm Barrett Levesque, and I'm a fellow in healthcare research and policy and gastroenterology at the Stanford University School of Medicine. And I will be presenting our manuscript entitled Cost Effectiveness of Alternative Imaging Strategies for the Diagnosis of Small Bowel Crohn's Disease um, as a video abstract for the journal Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology. And this project was done in conjunction with my colleagues. Uh, Lauren Cipriano, Stephen Chang, Keen Lee, Douglas Owens, and Alan Garber at the Center for Health Policy and Primary Care and Outcomes Research at Stanford, the Division of Gastroenterology and Department of Medicine, the Department of Management Science and Engineering at Stanford, the Department of Surgery, then the VA Palo Alto Healthcare System in Palo Alto, California. The work was supported by a training grant from uh, the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality. Now, um, as a background, the cost effectiveness of alternative approaches to the diagnosis of small bowel Crohn's disease, particularly imaging uh, small bowel Crohn's disease, is unknown. And this study evaluates whether CT neurography is a cost effective alternative to small bowel follow through and whether uh, capsule endoscopy is a cost effective third test in patients in whom a high suspicion of disease remains after two previous negative tests. So we're lining up costs and efficacy. Um, efficacy can be, uh, in terms of a test, can be how well it characterizes both true, true, true positives and true negatives, but also how often false positives and false negatives occur and what costs are uh, incurred with these false negatives and false positives. Uh, also, uh, we uh, translate effectiveness into quality adjusted life years gained. And so we come up with an incremental cost effective ratio of cost per uh, quality adjusted life years gained compared to an alternative strategy. And we designed a decision analytic model uh, to compare the lifetime costs and benefits of each strategy. And we looked at two scenarios, uh, patients with low uh, pretest probability of disease and patients with higher pretest probability of disease, and these patients may have a higher likelihood of isolated jejunal Crohn's disease. Um, and we tested our assumptions with uh, sensitivity analyses. And uh, what we found was that uh, in patients with a moderate to high pretest probability of disease and a higher likelihood of this isolated jejunal disease, uh, follow-up with CT interrography um, has an in incremental cost-effective ratio less than $54,000 per quality adjusted life year gained. So generally, uh, within uh, our, our estimates of uncertainty, CT interrography is a cost-effective uh, alternative second test to a small bowel follow-through. Now, um, we also uh, looked at uh, whether or not a th the third test is uh, cost effective. The third test with capsule endoscopy after a negative successful, successful meaning inhibited the terminal ileum or failed colonoscopy, and a negative, meaning uh, non-diagnostic, uh, CT interrography or small bowel follow-through. And you can see, um, you'll be able to see in the paper as well, but effectiveness on the y-axis and quality adjusted life years gain, costs on the x-axis. And if we start here, this would be ileocolonoscopy alone we get a large effectiveness for relatively smaller cost for the CT interrography, but in the case of this is a high pretest probability, even in a high pretest probability of small bowel Crohn's disease, um, there's a lot of cost for small incremental um, uh, gains in quality adjusted life years gains. That's uh, greater than $500,000 per quality adjusted life year gain. And the results were not sensitive to cost of the test or complications. We're very sensitive to test accuracies, that is, sensitivities and specificities, as opposed to diagnostic yields, not, not simply the amount of findings per test done, but truly how often are true negatives and true positives occur, occurring. Um, therefore, um, uh, we concluded that um, the cost and effectiveness of strategies depended critically on the pretest probability, uh, the, which is the, uh, the, the, clinician, the clinician's pretest probability of disease, and whether or not the ileocolonoscopy is successful. The CT interrography as a cost effective alternative to small bowel follow through as a second test, and capsule endoscopy is not, effective as, not cost effective as a third test. Thank you, and uh, we appreciate this opportunity.